There are some things in life you should never skimp on. I totally get it if you're going hardcore towards a financial goal and you think you need to go cheap, but in the end, you're gonna save yourself so much money and hassle if you just buy quality items up front. Here are some self-care items that you should never skimp on. Okay, let's start. First up is never skimp on leg day. I'm just kidding, but you know, friends don't let friends skip leg day. Okay, the real first item is important outerwear. If you live in the rain or snow, then a proper jacket is a must. You might be spending over $100 for a better jacket, but in the end, it's a better jacket. A good jacket is gonna last you for years to come. Also, these outerwear items are made to protect what's underneath, which is you. No need to be cold and wet from a bad decision you made because you didn't get the proper outerwear. Okay, next is shoes. I'm a physical therapist and a lot of patients that I see have foot pain and most of the people with foot pain didn't invest in good quality shoes. Now I'm not saying to go get some Jimmy Choo's or some Air Jordans. What I'm just saying is to get a good supportive shoe. You can get a cheap pair of shoes for like 20 bucks but then you're walking in them and they end up falling apart or for like 40 to $80 you can get a pretty good walking shoe. Having a good walking shoe is so important. You wanna make sure it's supportive to protect your feet. If you're a runner, then please invest in some really good running shoes because you're gonna be running many, many miles. A lot of shoes can be really expensive, so if you wait for a good sale, that's even better. Treat your feet nicely. Plus, all the visits that you won't need to make to visit us in the clinic, us physical therapists, will basically make up for the cost of the supportive shoe. Next is a good bra if you have boobies. I'm just saying that a good quality bra can last you many, many years. When I was younger, I used to get some cheaper bras at department stores, and then by the end of the year, they would already have holes in them, then I'd have to buy them again. But then I started shopping for more expensive bras that were better quality, and those are still so good still to this day. Gotta keep the ladies happy and supported. Random note, my favorite bras right now are the stretchy supportive ones. This one's from Akko, and it's just so great, so if you like stretchy bras that are really comfortable, I highly recommend Akko. Next, let's talk about purses. So I've had my share of really janky purses that ended up just being like that fake pleather stuff, so they peel, or they're fabric and they have holes in it. They were around $30, but in the end, yeah, they just didn't look too good. If you carry a purse or a fanny pack, I would highly just recommend getting something a little bit more expensive because the quality is better. So this is a purse, it's a leather purse from Madewell. This was under $100 because I got it on sale. I think it was for Labor Day or something like that. But yes, this one's really nice. I also have a smaller version, so I'm never gonna have to buy a leather purse again because I got my two sizes and my two colors. And then if you're looking for a good fanny pack, I highly recommend I get the Lululemon Everywhere belt bag, two large liter one. So this one goes around with me everywhere. This was $48 and the quality is awesome. I've done a, a review video on this one before. And then I also have a really nice leather uh, fanny pack and this one is from Mandarin. So uh, I think I'm good in the purse department so I don't have to be wearing the janky purses. So even though some brand names can be expensive, you really can't beat the quality. Plus you're not going to have to replace it ever, maybe. Next is beauty stuff. I just wanna say, you only have one face and your skin is the largest organ of your body, so you have to treat it nicely. I'm not afraid of getting older, but as I age, I do wanna age gracefully. So that being said, be sure to invest in some good quality items when it comes to your beauty care. Now, I'm not saying to pay $400 for a face cream because that would just be bananas. Also, don't be putting bananas and avocado all over your face. What people really just need is a good Korean skincare product. If you do your research, you'll see that Korean skincare is super affordable. A lot of Korean skincare items are basically the same price as that stuff you see in the convenience stores, the stuff collecting dust. The Korean skincare products I use are basically between $15 and $40, and they last me a really, really long time. Also, Korean skincare is years ahead when it comes to research compared to other skincare. So don't skimp out on your skincare. Just do your research and continue to look fabulous. If you like what you see so far, I would love it if you would take a split second and just hit that subscribe button. It's right down there. Here at Build Your Moxie, I teach you how to be smart with your money so you can enjoy life to the fullest. Next is sunscreen. Don't buy the cheapest, biggest, generic bottle you can find because it's the lowest amount of money. Like I mentioned before, your skin is the biggest organ. Skin cancer is no joke, but also what's not a joke is looking 15 years older than what you really are. 
Protect yourself and spend money on reputable brands you trust. Next up is hair care. Now I'm not saying you have to spend $500 to get a cut in color every seven weeks, but what I'm saying is if you let price alone determine where you're gonna go and you go for the cheapest option, then you may be wasting your money. For me, I don't do a lot when it comes to coloring, but I do get my hair cut by this really nice Vietnamese lady and she does my hair for $35. However, it's a really good haircut and she's super awesome. Once a year, I do get a Japanese magic perm so my hair is straight and shiny. However, a long time ago, I went to a cheaper place so the Japanese magic perm I normally get is $300, anywhere from $200 to $300, depending on what they need to touch up. But this one place I went to, I went for a place that was $150, and they totally fried my hair, and I didn't save money because I had to buy all these other products to then fix my hair after. Never again. If you do color your hair, then make sure you get it colored right, because color correction does cost a lot of money as well. Just save up the money for a job well done. Friendly reminder public service announcement. Just because you're getting good quality doesn't mean you have to spend an arm and a leg. There's a difference between being cheap, frugal, and irresponsible. We want to be frugal, which is spending your money intentionally and wisely. Next item is eye health. You have one pair of eyes and being able to see is such a blessing. So make sure you wear your blue light blocking glasses, some good sunglasses when you're in the sun, and if you wear contacts, make sure that you're changing them out at the recommended time you're supposed to change them out. So if you're wearing daily contacts, switch them out daily. And if you're wearing two week contacts, then make sure you're switching them out every two weeks. If you need glasses, make sure you get the proper prescription. Our physical therapy department is right next to ophthalmology, and oftentimes I think, man, I'm just so happy I don't have eye issues right now. So make sure you do your checkups when it's time. Protect your vision, protect your eyes, and don't skimp out on eye health. Next item to not skimp out on is anything related to your teeth. Brush your teeth, make sure your tongue is healthy, and make sure you're flossing every day. Also, when it comes to procedures, I've seen a lot of people go to other countries to get it done cheaper for like a couple thousand dollars cheaper. However, sometimes it doesn't go that well and they're trying to fix it and it ends up costing a lot more money. Plan A to save money went down the drain. I probably don't need a lecture on how important your teeth are for your health and for your face. So just make sure you're doing your research and go to the dentist and whatever teeth expert you need to go to. Okay, next up for self-care is candles. Don't be buying those cheap candles from those department stores because there's a lot of chemicals that get flown up into the air when you're burning cheap candles. Some candles have formaldehyde, there's phthalates which are like plastics. You can find these plastics in lunch boxes. There's a lot of plastics everywhere. You don't want that stuff floating up in the air and going into your skin and in your lungs. Before Build Your Moxie started, I actually ran Barton Burns, my eco-friendly soy candle company. So this is what you want to look for when you're looking for a candle. Make sure there's a cotton wick inside. Make sure the wax is all natural and it's more of a vegetable base. This is eco-friendly soy wax right here. And you want to make sure there's no lead or zinc or any phthalates. This one is mint mojito and this one is rose water. Bougie! If you liked this video, then you might like this next video, which I'll link right here.